Good morning, ESM. We've got a couple things to cover on today's show, starting with a discussion about National Hemp Day with Chloe Butchko. Then we'll move on to the junior class fundraiser with Jordan Sanson. More on that after news and announcements. On Monday, four children who went missing in a blizzard in western Alaska on Sunday were found alive and are currently being treated for severe hypothermia. The children, aged 14, 8, 7, and 2 years old, were found by ground searchers around 4.25 p.m. on Monday, and their parents have been notified and the children have been taken to a hospital. State troopers said they received a report at 6.25 p.m. local time on Sunday out of the community of Nunam Iqua in western Alaska. The children had not returned from a snow machine ride and were expected back at about 1 p.m. Helicopters from the Coast Guard and the Army National Guard, as well as search and rescue groups from neighboring villages, helped look for the children, but blizzard conditions pre presented a challenge. The Chinese coronavirus outbreak, which has spread worldwide, has killed over 420 people and infected over 20,000 people globally as it continues to spread throughout the world. The virus has been confirmed in more than 25 countries and other territories since it was first confirmed in Wuhan in December. The World Health Organization does not consider the outbreak to be a pandemic, but they also said that, the mask, that a mask is, quote, not enough, and they urge people to wash their hands very regularly. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you looking for something for that special someone this Valentine's Day? The Foreign Language Honor Society is selling flowers in the mornings and during lunch. The cost is $1 each and they will be delivered to your Valentine. A limited number will be sold, so buy early.